Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hungarian Grand Prix for PRL. This is qualifying. Take provisional pole with a great lap. I really thought that would stand the test and at least land me a front row position. But base chief ninja took that provisionally and then I really ruined myself on a slightly better lap. May have been up to P3 in the end, but the real surprise was just how far back I dropped from that lap time, which I thought was actually quite good. How wrong I could be, Dubsy taking pole with a 19.6, and in fact three other cars beating me as well. Notably none of them the championship rivals of the two McLarens and Mystic Joker, were actually all behind me, which was a surprise as well. Anyhow, we got going, and yeah, Mystic Joker was the car directly to my right in P6. You can see his front written there, and he couldn't get through because there was a force in here in his way. We were trying to sneak around the outside, got his teammate in front of me as well. Be very careful not to get boxed in here. There's space down the inside, a little bit of contact between Aaron and Eric, a little bit of contact between myself and Eric as well. We all stay in roughly the same order. We've got Mystic to worry about around the outside. Although surely he's not going to be able to make a move around there. Not quite at turn four. And uh, everything seems to have calmed down a little bit now. All in uh, line of stern formation. Eric's gone a little bit wide there, missing the apex of turn one as the front three break away. Looks like I have some good traction down here, no DRS yet. And around the outside into turn two, can I grab the position? Yes. Possibly the best part of the race for me, given what was about to come. So yeah, uh, my traction there wasn't that great. Aaron going very wide at turn 11, one of a couple of mistakes he made there. And we're up into P3. We've caught base chief Ninja as well in the Red Bull as Dubsy pulls away. We get a very taily moment there through turn 3, and that allows Eric through, unfortunately. So back down to P4. We would stay in this battle for P2, with Mystic right behind us in our shadow. Had a look down the inside there, had to back out of it though. Base Chief Ninja giving us just enough room. Although he's taken a very strange line through the chicane, we might be able to dive down the inside here, just leaving him enough space. Around the outside of the next corner, up into podium position once again. Although he's still there, we have to back off so we don't run him wide. And we've just slipped around the outside. Mystic's followed us through there, and he's got a really good run. We have to defend from him. He's around the outside. That's not going to work, though. We've maintained position. At the end of that lap, though, the two guys behind do pit. And brace yourselves, because you've never seen a downward spiral in a race quite like this. It starts off with a pit lane speeding penalty. Inexcusable for someone going for a championship. That's the uh, second one I've got, quite unbelievably. Anyhow, we've come out in front of Mystic, which is a little bit more disappointing as well, because this would have ended us uh, in a good stead for the rest of the race. But we have to serve that penalty, and we're going to come out well down the pack. Let's see where we feed out. P13, it looks like. So that's, uh, that's quite poor. We do make some overtakes to try and thread our way back through the pack, mostly on cars who are struggling on their tyres. Here's my teammate, who I'm not sure if he's pitted yet. I, I'd hazard guess he probably hasn't. And we're up into P9 at this stage. My countryman HSV having some issues through the chicane. And we're up into P8. He's still following Aaron, and he makes another mistake at 10-11. He's really struggling at that corner. Um, for grip. We'll make another pit stop onto the mediums. And we're looking good for P7 at this stage with only 8 laps to go, but DSC man retiring. Safety car deployed, and what the hell is this? Firstly, a slow stop. Secondly, why are you putting worn supers on? I have other supers. So Disaster, pretty much. Hint is going on. I don't know why they were holding softs, because there was no softs. Anything to do with the car there. 
drive through penalty for falling too far back despite the fact we were inside the car in front. So that's really destroyed us because under safety car conditions obviously everyone's bunched up with a drive through we're going to fall right to the back other than cars such as Base Chief Ninja who <laughs> possibly should have gone on to intermediate tyres at some stage. So there's the reminder to serve the penalty. At this stage we only have two points anyhow. Into the pits we go, losing any chance of any points. Um, out of the pits in 13th with just two laps left. I mean there are some cars we managed to get past. Main event here, trying the wet tyres. A good gamble for someone towards the back of the field. Not quite working out for him though. And then uh, we'd follow that up with one more overtake on a car in the pits. There are two dots there, but one of them was lapped. And 11th place. Worst finish for me in a long time, possibly years. And there you go. At least we finished the race. I guess there's that. We'll try again next time in Germany. We've lost a lot of points to Mystic, who was on the podium, and Schwartz, who won the race with a great strategy, to be fair. See you guys next time for Hockenheim.